The World Cup is here. Cameroon are going to win it. Let's talk about it. What's going on, guys? This is the World Cup episode. Much, much awaited. Unfortunately, we are missing some of the bench uh, members here, but we will have them here for the bracket episode. I am one of your hosts. My name is Eric. Nico Nick. Yeah. John A.K. Yeah. Diego Statroll and our distinguished guest. Danny G. What up? Behind the scenes, making everything happen. As usual, Marco. Marco, Marco, what's going on, Bobby? Uh, first of all, how excited are you guys that it's finally here? Like it's it's been four years since the last World Cup. Uh, we'll get into the whole context in just a bit, but just kind of the the build up for the World Cup. You know, the, it's the the biggest stage for the sport, the biggest event in the world. Are you getting those World Cup butterfly feelings yet? Right yeah. now, yes. Yeah, I can't lie. Okay. I, Monday, I said the, the exact same opposite, but now, like, yeah. You know I mean? so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's always like a very unifying event. Like everybody gets together and they live it. They 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 breathe it, and it's it's a it's an event that we all look forward to. Barring barring like the situation yeah. that they they're hosting it like in the middle of, of the winter, basically. Yeah. But well, we'll, we'll, we'll quickly we'll get touch on it. yeah on, on those on those sensitive topics. But uh, Diego, guy, yeah, how are you guys uh? How, what, are you, what are you guys planning to do for this uh, World Cup? How are you guys planning oh. on watching it? Waking up early morning? Are you going to watch it at work, on a computer? Uh, guy, if you do, I'll get you in trouble. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bitch. Wow, I'm we, wa- we have something over again. I'm going to watch it. For the rest of I'm going to watch it with him. Fuck out of here. <laughs> you th- you You're really like, think he's going to pass that shit uh, up? A, a, a team message. Cat, what are you doing? Uh, do you want to come over real quick? <laughs> you know, a team meeting. <laughs> a team meeting. <laughs> team meeting. <laughs> team meeting. Yeah, you you got to go to the, you gotta, we gotta go in the office today, but at this office. I want to I I I I teach you about some products that we're going to be launching pretty soon. <laughs> Please come over. It's going to take, I don't know. Like two hours, and you might, I'll take you out for lunch, and we'll come back and re, re, you know do a small little recap for another two hours. <laughs> you like Darby Road? I'll meet you halfway. So, do you guys have any like morning routines like prepared for this? Like, do you know what you're gonna eat for breakfast? Because this is breakfast time now. It's not you know midday. Get the grill going. This is uh, wake up, have some coffee, some pan con cafe. What do you? What's your? What's your uh, gonna be your routine? This one. This one is uh. The only time that I remember waking up this early was Korea, Japan yeah. in 2002. And I was like 12 years old back then. 10 years old, actually. I'm dating, I'm dating myself. 2018? So, 2002. 2002, oh, 2002 bro. Korea, Japan in 2002. <laughs> and that was the last time that they had games like 2 a.m., 5 a.m., and then I think uh, 8 a.m., something like that. And I remember, oh, I think it was, um, it could have been like Germany, Senegal or something like that. And my my memory of just getting ready with cereal, and I have it recorded on a VCR cassette. Like oh. I remember, I plugged in the cable into the VCR, put in a blank tape, and then I, I have a few of those matches recorded actually. So that was, that was uh, so that was adorable, good. bro. That's yeah. pretty good. My man, my man's, uh, I love you. <laughs> soul, bro. Man, no, I love you. <laughs> but as I like all the other World Cups have been at decent times, like in the yeah. straight afternoon. In the summer, you'd get the asado, you get the you know the little barbecues with your family. Oh, I mean, bro, bro, middle that's, of the middle of the, uh, the week. Exactly, uh, that's the US the, game. That's the only thing that I that I remember lately. So mm-hmm. this is gonna be different to be up at five a.m. again. And of course, you can't go wrong with little panko cafe, and just just stick it out. Do you add cheese to your chocolate milk, hot chocolate milk? Uh, yeah. Cheese? Yeah, queso, queso cheese? Con, yeah. Con chocolate yeah. de caliche, you ever heard about yeah? that? You never heard about that? No. It's, so it's, rocky, it's, it's, it's queso fresco, basically, and you put it in mm. uh, like hot chocolate, which is it, it's a bit more bitter than sweet, like the the chocolate that um Col- that that Colombians usually make. So oh, okay. it's nice, and you just leave it at the bottom, and then you drink your chocolate, and then at the bottom you have a nice little morsel to. I've had that one. I had that not too long ago. It was actually it's nice, bro. It's yeah, it Especially nice. in the morning, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's so it pretty good. kind of feels like wow, winter. <laughs> yes, yes, it's definitely. Win- it's gonna. That's another factor too. We're gonna have a lot of fucking like comfort food compared oh, to. Yeah. Morning, what, what do you mean? Fat as it is, now I get fatter. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, bro. I mean, I, I don't know what do you guys have a. Do you, have you ever had a, a ritual as far as food or getting prepared for the World Cup, anything like that? Any, well, I know any... Kat doesn't eat until like, like twelve until now or some shit. So, really? I never eat breakfast. You're wild. So no, I'm probably. I'm just gonna wake up, turn the TV on, and get get going. Yeah, I'll probably have some. I mean, five a.m. I'll probably have some probably cereal because I'll probably have to watch it on the couch in the in the living room. So my kitchen's right there. So probably just have a bowl of cereal or something. 
And then when you're at work? And then when I'm at work, uh, <laughs> you no I comment. Say too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be working. I'll be oh, working. Oh, <laughs> I'll be hard at work. What yeah, you mean? Yeah, yeah. We're working woke, on his working on his bracket. Work up what? <laughs> work work up what? <laughs> Fortunately, I did plan everything out properly. So hopefully. I mean, it's going to have a kid every four years. Around <laughs> 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 this time, so I can stay home well, and watch this all time, the kids. next one will be in a nor- hopefully yeah, in a normal time, which is yeah. summer. So Yeah, yeah, which is she wants a summer baby. So there you go. You got to time it, bro. You got to yeah, time it. Time, time, November, 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 November. November. You got, you got paternity leave, bro? I'm going to think of how, long, how long you got? I got the World Cup off. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Hey, baby. Let's go. I'll be watching it. I'll be watching that's, that's, it. All right, that's all right. I'll, I'll be joining you in four years. Let me know. Let me know. 5,000 <laughs> IQ play, bro. 5,000 IQ. That's nice. That's uh, going to be nice, bro. That, that, that's what happens when you plan ahead. Oh, <laughs> and, then, and, like, yeah. and, you, and then you're going to be up at all hours of the night anyway because of the baby? And exactly. Just watch the game? This is very just don't go to sleep. Just stay wow. up. Wow. I'm going to work and ground it during the night. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is wow. so reassuring to Baby Estrada, like knowing he wasn't a mistake, bro. He wasn't. He was playing. <laughs> I needed him to watch my footy, you know, because <laughs> if you watch him watch my footy, yeah, his first, his first. Uh, you mean I did well. have a purpose, yeah, Dad? It's gonna be his first World Cup. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, son. Already. I love, I love soccer too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, soccer. That's the name of the baby soccer. Oh shit! All right, do you got any uh, rituals or you know, funny things that you do for for watching World Cup? Absolutely nothing. Bro. Nothing, nothing, nothing in particular. Nothing. You, I'm be on the toilet watching. You, you don't, you don't wear like uh, lucky underwear or anything like that. No, because my teams have never made it to the World Cup. So, uh, what are you talking about? Which, we're just, speaking of which, I mean, look, look, we're all. Well, most of us are here are wearing. wearing oh, we're all wearing. Actually. Yeah, we're all wearing. We're representing our countries. I, Guatemala has finally made it to a World Cup podcast. <laughs> <laughs> very, 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 very specific with that. Okay, we will never go. qualify, but I'm trying to represent. And honestly, he's the only one I really fit me. So, uh, <laughs> Nick, I love the full full kit wanker over here. Obrigado, obrigado. Trazema. Muito obrigado. Favela, Brasil. Let's go. Put your ball. Put your ball. Put your ball. I hope bonito. someone understands it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of random <laughs> words. Jogo <laughs> 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 bonito. What's up, guy? You wear, you're rocking your Uruguay. See, see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take off this Uruguay sweater. And it would watch Jersey right underneath. Porque soy boludo, che. Que me quede. He's got, he's got the one with the clip art stars on it. That's what, that's the clip art stars. Yeah, How the many clip, stars you got? The, the clip art. Oh, the clip art stars. How many stars you got? You know what? Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm wearing it. Quick question I'm before we get brackets. into the whole episode. Uh, here we go. And it, be, and it begins. How much do we hate? Are we going to hate Uruguay this World Cup? Oh, Not me. Oh. I'm, 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 actively, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actively supporting them, baby. Darwin Nunez aside, how much are we hating uh, Uruguay? <laughs> <laughs> Darwin Nunez aside, bro, I've said it leading up to this, and I can't wait to witness fourth place. The, the Ghanaian payback. The Ghanaian payback. Psych. The Black Star is getting the revenge. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, fourth place. Any rituals? Anything besides no. losing? Besides, how many stars you got? A- any Any rituals? Any rituals? No. I mean, we're gonna count a World Cup when there was like. People 1930? Use, people, people use dinosaurs? 19, oh, like 1930 and 1950? <laughs> bro, the U.S. was still in the Great Depression, bro. That World <laughs> Cup is so old, I fell off my dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, do you have any any plans on uh, the opening game? It is Ecuador versus Qatar. Opening oh, game. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm right. trying, to, trying to hit a bar with my brother and my cousin, see if we watch uh, Ecuador, get the first W. Uh, hopefully, we get far in it. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to support, and hopefully we make a nice run. All right, all right, awesome. So, look, the way this episode is going to work, we're going to ask a few uh, common questions you get for the World Cup, and then we'll dive into the actual groups, discuss them, review the, how we think each team is going to do uh, out of the groups, and if we want to change our answers from the popular questions asked, we can do so as we go through the groups. All right, so, well, just kind of, uh, I guess this is a, a quick fire round just to kind of get everybody's answers and uh, in, into the... It's the Nico's uh, famous little book right here. Just wait, make sure you write them right, though. <laughs> <laughs> so my first, well, this isn't more. Of a, this isn't a question for the World Cup, but just to get this out of the way, what's your personal excitement and feelings towards this World Cup? Granted, there is a documentary that just came out on Netflix, and it's taking the world by storm right now. A lot of people are commenting on it. Uh, what's his What's his name? Came out and said he regrets. Seth Blatter. After he fucking got paid, of course, he fucking yeah, sucked dry, shit. Drying but. his tears with all of his hundreds. For real. Fun. Mm. But Danny, talk to me. Uh, this World Cup, I'm really looking forward to Messi lifting the lifting the cup. I, I really, I'm, 
I'll probably get emotional. I'll probably cry along with them, like with that motherfucker, because yeah, that's that's the only thing he needs. Like, that's the last thing he needs, and he can go to sleep for the rest of his life. He feels like, and that's it. Uh-huh. That's all she wrote for him. Yeah, so every, focus on full focus on Messi right now. I think that's that's my main priority. And then secondly, Ecuador. I want them to do decently. Get mm-hmm. out of the group stage. Maybe go up a few rounds. We'll see what they do. Okay. But mostly, just definitely Messi. I'm not looking forward to it only because of all the controversy, <laughs> but also because Mexico is not looking very good at all. Because mm. I got to keep it a buck. They look fucking terrible. They look like a fourth Seriously. place team. Uh, they look like a team that would probably be Uruguay. So would you say you're just more excited for the actual event itself? I, I think so. Because like either, even though I am excited, don't get me wrong, for my own team and for Mexico to do well. And the US. I feel like I feel like that the U.S. is a scratch, bro. Uh, after that, we'll get into that, bro. <laughs> I, after that call up that was just announced today, still, like uh, typically, like I, I don't know, like I feel it. I would typically be really hyped up, um, because they would also have some momentum. But I think that is a very general thing that applies to most teams. Most teams haven't had a concentration. They haven't been together for a month. They're just getting together, like in their camp for a week, and then they're going straight to it. I think that's going to benefit. The teams that have uh, players that are, uh, I don't know, m- much more fit in form, I guess, is, is the better term. So that's the one thing that's kind of holding me back. But, of course, I, I am excited. I'm excited to, to actually live this World Cup, watch these games, see all, all of the all of the excitement, all the drama. And uh, it's, it's going to be memorable for me. It really is. I'm going to take that Mexico beating Uruguay joke as a, a comment as a joke, considering we just beat you 3-0 a couple months ago. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, I'm always excited during World Cup time, and this time, I've mentioned it before to you guys off recording, for the first time in, in a while, Uruguay actually has a pretty decent team, so I'm I'm very excited to see how, how well they do and how far they can go. Uh, obviously, I'm also excited as well. I feel like this is the first World Cup I'm going into where I know a little bit Yeah, about, you're, you're cognizant, about, bro. Like, about, you're uh, fucking aware. Yeah, mm-hmm. about, like, each team and, like, how they, like, maybe set up or, like, some of the players that compare it to, like, 2014, 2018. So, I'm, like, I'm, like, just, like, excited to just see, I guess, these teams. Like, Singularity. AI. He's realized. Yeah, he just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I, excited for the event, just not for the controversy. I, I personally, for me, the excitement isn't at a full 10 as it was in the past. I feel you. Agreeable. I, just, I don't know. I'm th- I feel like I'm taking it just moral, more morally than it, than. Then I guess sporting wise, I don't know. If the I, the if passion ain't there. The yeah, there. the passion isn't 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 there. It, it just it just feels like there's a lot more behind the scenes that even the players are gonna come out and say. I'm just really curious to see how everything's gonna happen in the country with like again as we covered like the alcoholic, like the homosexuality, the the one night stands are are bound to happen. It's out more there. Uh, it's more political than it is Very entertainment. Intimate. Exactly, and then that's one thing you never wanted to combine is sport and politics but that's what this uh tournament to me at least sort of feels like but uh i cannot say that i'm also not excited because i am going to be home at the perfect times to watch the game so who doesn't want to see the best players but i guess the best players at the end of the day yeah you're right you're so, right that's true. the excitement is there just not at a full 10 um i just saw i'm i just want to see the u.s get out of the group and just at least have it grow some more here in the country because i feel if we we're such a melting pot of of different cultures cultures and, and you know and talent and styles and style of football you know of course just coming from around the world to coach here if we can get it go to the next level i feel that we can start hopefully recruiting the right players and the u.s continue to go further but mark i <clears throat> i fall into the same boat as you do man i'm actually not excited at all um i boycott it don't watch it. Don't watch it. Then. I, yeah, I, I, like, I, li- I literally said I boycott it, but I'll be the only one boycott it. Mean, Honestly, I, I feel like everybody should boycott it. I mean, everybody 100%. Should boycott it. I, I, the thing is that I'm Except not for Argentina. <laughs> Argentina should just go there. <laughs> I hope everybody boycotts it and nobody sees Messi pick, it up, pick that fucking trophy up. But he'll still, he'll still do it. <laughs> if, if a tree falls in the woods, if a tree falls in the woods, <laughs> doesn't make a sound. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know those. If Messi picks up the cup, nobody doesn't make a sound. Nobody knows if it actually happened or not. No, I'm, I'm honest to God, I really am not. I'm not that interested. Um, I'm that. not looking forward to it. Um, the games are gonna be there. Yes, well, I watch some of them. That's why I don't say I don't want to say I will no, boycott it, mm-hmm. boycott it, because I have a feeling that I will watch eventually one of the games. Maybe the the, the a Brazil a Brazil game. I would love to see <clears throat> the Brazilian play. Of course, I watch an Argentina game, but I don't. I don't see myself dedicated like I used to be. 
Mm. Um, back when I was in Guatemala, when I was in, when I was in, in school, I remember one of my friends, he, he didn't give a fuck, and he took off the entire month. Jesus. Of, of, and we were, we're in school. We were mid, mid, mid test and everything. He'll come for a test, take it, and then leave. He watched every single game. Damn. And I wish I was right there next to him. And I and and but we would we we, we were we were interested. And this year I, I just don't don't feel the interest at all. Um I don't I don't care for it. Yeah. And it's and it's it's weird to say. Now I do understand, I do like the idea, like you were saying, I want the US to to uh, to make it at least to the run of eight the round of six or sorry, right round of eight or the semifinals or the uh, mm-hmm. quarterfinals mm-hmm. or whatever. Because it would it would bring a lot more eyes to the to the MLS and 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 better better players not that older players not a, a, a retirement league that they're calling it or they've called it in the past uh, that I, I do see it but everything else like you were mentioning the, the political side I think it's it's way too heavy on the actual game itself and as much as they're saying oh don't make it into politics like no we'll see it because oh. before and after the ninety minutes it's politics yep. Once where the game has started, that's the only time the politics will not be involved, technically, because the referees can be point. Can even be then, political. Minutes, oh, yeah, even because Harry Kane apparently already came out and said he's wearing the rainbow captain band. Yeah, I mean exactly. So, so why why they push that so hard? Like, what's what's that's the, the media pushing it? But it's obviously in, in, and, it's and, controversy because the, the media is making it worse. Yeah, exactly. And it, exact, exactly. So yeah. that's why I'm like, I, I'm I'm interested. I, I will watch games. I'm not boycotting it, but I'm also not celebrating the world cup that's, I'll, that's, I'll, that's, I'll wait i'll like want to celebrate it when when it comes to the u.s when it goes to mexico when it goes that one i'm looking forward to that one i'm planning for that one i'm, I'm interested in this one it's just another game yeah that's fair i mean and it's, it's not wrong to feel that way at all everybody has the right to feel how they want to feel this one obviously there's a lot more again um rough news look at politics everything around the, the whole tournament itself but uh that's that. We'll uh we'll leave it for you to decide how you feel, if you want to watch, and how you want to watch, how you want to enjoy it. But uh, I think for the most part, the majority of the people are still gonna watch it just yeah. because it is the world's best event and you get the best athletes there going. So, with all that being said, let's get into the quick fire questions. All right, guys. So again, this is gonna be right off the cuff, and then we'll get into the groups. And if you want to change your answers, then after we kind of dissect the groups a little bit, you can definitely change it. No problem. Changing it already. <laughs> yeah, for real, right? So my first question to you guys is. Who are going to be your early bow outs? Meaning, who is going to get knocked out of the group nice and early that you were not expecting? Out of any of the groups. Out of any of the groups, any of the groups, yeah. I don't, I don't want. Well, one per, not one per group. No, just I like, will be here okay, all day. Okay, okay. Mexico. No, I'm, wow. expecting, I'm expecting this, so I can't say Mexico. Wow. I'll take it for you. <laughs> wow. I already said mine, by the way. <laughs> I am being honest with what I said. Okay, Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm going to say Spain. Who won the last one? Do have France. Spain would be France. France. I'm gonna say that's France. actually a really good. Spain is a really good one. I'm gonna say France, bro. The world, the world Cup the champion. World Cup. France still Bal- thinks Bal- that. So I, the, we, curse, the curse, the curse, the curse. What did he say? What did he say? Yeah. It's not a stat. It's, it's, it's not a stat. The curse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Other than France, probably. I want to say Brazil. What? It's a, I don't. What? I don't. I, don't I, I feel like they don't have the Joga Bonito no more, bro. It hasn't, it hasn't been. It hasn't been there in it's, in it's, decades. It's because they're trying to stop it. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I, I feel like they have it now. If anything, they they're more they're it. more motivated to bring exactly. it back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the players they actually brought on. They're baila, vini, baila, baila, <laughs> baila, <laughs> baila, yeah, baila, baila, yeah, baila, yeah, yeah, baila, 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 Early, that's fine. Okay. But, but out, of, out, of, out, of, out of the group. Out of, out of the group, France. Okay. France. Wow. That's going to be a shock. That's going to be a shock. I, uh, who's I France? I would stick with France, France too. France is Denmark, Tunisia, and Australia. You guys are crazy. Okay. Hey, bro. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to, to this game. What, what do you say? <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? I said Spain. Spain. Yeah, Spain. All right. Spain's a good show. I have two. Yeah. But the one I'm going to say, oh, I'll let you go first. No, no. I, I agree with France. Oh, you said France. Okay. I agree with France. I'll say Belgium. I was, oh. I was stuck between Spain I'll and Belgium, honestly, but I don't know Spain, man. Oh. I could probably see Spain more than Belgium. Yeah, but I just I, golden but I want to be different. I don't see Belgium. Bro, it's, it's, been, it's been Belgium's golden year for like ten years, bro. And they haven't done anything. <laughs> KDB, man. They, they, KDB they share it with with uh, Netherlands. Like Netherlands had a golden year oh, too. Know. Yeah, but at least at least Netherlands made it to a final, bro. In 2010. But Group H is Group of the Muerte, right? They're all pretty evenly matched there in Group H. Not up enough. It wasn't fun. No, it wasn't. 
All right, who's your shout? I actually, I actually don't have any um early the, in the group stages. No shot favorites. Move on. Um, All the favorites yeah, move I think on. France move right, on. So but I have them finishing second. But what's your group B? Uh, which is Spain, Germany, Japan, Costa Rica. Spain, Germany. I have Germany, Spain, Japan, Costa Rica. But in terms of like bowing out early, but not grouped, I think Belgium will bow early in terms of the knockout rounds. Okay. Yeah. Who's not making out of the group, Eric? I said Spain. Oh, you said Spain? Yeah. That's right. Marco. He said and you he... said Mexico. Yeah. You really sticking yeah, by ma- that? Yo, <laughs> real quick, though. Imagine there was like a Europa League type shit, third place. <laughs> Imagine playoff or a right? Euro, Euro. A, lo- a, lo- a loser's bracket. Pro- Nick, Nick, a loser's there, bracket. Look, fucking the motherfuckers already saw oh it. A loser, God. a loser's it's bracket. Happened, a loser's bracket. Look, we already, we already are worse than American football, dude. Listen, once Portugal comes in first and Ghana in second, it'll give Uruguay something to play for. So you know what? I'm not against that third. Uruguay looking like they could get knocked out though. That that's the group of the Muerte right there. I would say so. Oh, I can't wait. Thanksgiving Day. I Thanksgiving Day. So. I would it, say so. It's Thanksgiving Marco, Day, it all oh, begins. Mexico, right? Yeah, he's in Mexico. All right, so who is going to be your dark horse? I have my answer for that already. All right, go ahead. Mean, yeah. Serbia. Serbia. I think Serbia. All the Vlahoviches and Mitroviches me and, me and, me me and uh, Milinkoviches, Savages, all, all the itches. All the itches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the itches. I think they're, they're going to do well. I, I, Are they going to scratch your itch? Oh, yeah, I think they would. I think they would. And I feel like... I don't want to ruin anyone's shout, but I feel like Denmark would be a close second. But I think that that magic was just for the Euro, and it was something that they did exceptionally well. I don't think they're going to be able to recreate it. So my dark horse officially, I, I think that Serbia might might actually. And from the group that they're in, I, I think that they could probably end up being a dark horse and yeah. get out of the group. And with Serbia, too, like the, the football they play is just very, like, root one. Yeah, it's like just They're, they're just going to lob it up to Vlahovic and, <laughs> yeah. and Mitrovic and just knock it down. Kostic. Vlahovic sucks. One, <laughs> one of the best crosses in world football onto Mitrovic's head. So, like, that that's just, especially a knockout like any like Champions League World Cup that's just a prime recipe so I was going to say one of Serbia but I guess just to go different I'll go Senegal nice. uh, I think uh, this is probably their golden era Mane Kuzbali. is he out I, is he I, out or is I, he in I think he'll play he's, he's going to do everything he can to play yeah. I think so, so they, they say he'll be fit but I mean this is Senegal's golden era Mane Kulubali, Edouard Mendy even though he's in poor form uh, he's smiled a star so I'll go Senegal I said Canada Canada. Well, Fonzo Davies is still yeah. questionable, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll see what, what's going to happen with him. But that's a fair shout. I'm going to go Japan. I think they Japan's have a got core. Speed. They have a, really? a, a yeah. new era of technical players. A, a strong midfield that just won the, 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 the premiership with uh, Celtic. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that's going to be the team going to the World Cup. They I got remember. the forward of Minamino, who unfortunately Liverpool didn't really kick up, but he's still a quality player. And if Tommy t- Tommy Yasu's uh, in that back line, I feel pretty confident back there. So Kamada as well, who's been playing really well for Eintracht Frankfurt in the midfield. He was he and, had a uh, tremendous Europa League campaign. The Leicester, like, the Leicester kid. Oh, from, no, from Brighton. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mitoma. Mitoma. Mitoma yeah. as well. So Mitoma. I mean, yeah, I think they've they have got, a solid group of speed. players, technical players who can do the job, do the job well, and at least a midfield that's played together, which I think is. Super is extremely essential to any team because if you have a, a, a midfield that know how to play together, they'll connect the offense and the defense much more seamlessly than a, a trio or or, or a duo or whatever that, that are just starting to kind of get the rhythm going. So if they have the rhythm going, I think they can carry it into the World Cup. I said Japan. Going off that point, I think Ecuador has a decent midfield. Mm, I think, mo- I think, yeah, I think yeah. most sure. teams have not having that cohesiveness and that that time to really adapt to each other. Ecuador's going to be like that that team that has that midfield locked in and it's going to have the, the the best transition between plays. So Ecuador dark horse. Dark horse, yes. Yeah. That's, a fair, that's a fair shout. Yeah, that's a fair shout, 100%. Fair. I'll go to Croatia. Croatia. I feel, I feel like they're, dark horse? they're all like 40 years old. Exactly. That, that's, that's the reason why. They're old. But I feel like it's specifically that team has that, that, that fighting heart that it doesn't matter age. It's just that they want... They they they, they, they almost them. tasted the glory last one that I want I think they're gonna want it this time so I I I'll, I'll, I'll call them the, out the, the Madrid DNA in one of them yeah yeah for real and their midfield like Brozovic Modric uh go obviously Kovacic and uh, oh, I more think itches Ra- Rakitic probably I think he retired from international football but even I though that midfield did, yeah. trio is ago. absurd it's great so all right next question Golden Boot I know Golden Glover sorry Golden Glove <sighs> Golden Glove. A golden glove is clean sheets, right? Clean sheets, yep. 
I got mine. I, I, th- I feel like that's very group stage dependent, no? Absolutely. I, Golden Boot, I think, is also going to be group stage dependent. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. Mine, I, mine, I, mine, I, is, mine is Allison. Allison? Yeah. Brazil, Allison. I think it's going to be Debo Martinez for Argentina. I feel like that guy's going to lay his life down for the team. He's going to really yeah, like, sacrifice yeah, himself. That's a factor, yeah. I'm going to go Neuer. I was going to go Yoris. They have a pretty Style, Austra- Australia, Denmark, and Tunisia. You're saying they're going to get knocked out, but now you're giving them the golden glove? <laughs> yeah. I, I can't, I'm, I'm that's just... the only reason I didn't take Courtois. That's literally <laughs> the only reason <laughs> why I didn't take they Courtois. Could still, they could still, hey, listen, it could be no no draws. It doesn't matter. If they don't pick up points, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. They, if they don't pick up points, that's fine. That's, that's, that's three fair. points only. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. it, it's happened, bro. And, and if it's going to be something where it's like, oh, my God, they're not going to suddenly lose to, like, Tunisia, for example, or Denmark. Let's just say it like that, or Australia. I feel like it's going to be a situation where they're just not going to show up, and they're going to be – it could be no draws, bro. If okay. if Uruguay do make it far, I can see Musleta probably He's picking solid, up Golden man. Glove. Just Uruguay just always uh, – How old is rigid. he? He's 35. He's still like he's, 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 That's crazy. I feel, yeah, I, feel, I feel like he never got hit the move, like a big move he should have got. I feel like he got, should have got a big move a while ago. A while ago. Yeah, it's too late now. Yeah, it's too late now. Yeah, it's his last World Cup, so. Who's your Golden Glove? Golden Glove. I said, um, oh, you didn't? Neuer. Oh, you said Neuer? Okay, Neuer, Neuer. Who did you say, Eric? I'm, I, I'm still deciding. Marco, who do you have? <sighs> Sean Johnson. Did anyone say Courtois? Nobody I was out? going to say Courtois, Nobody but then that would come. John that would gonna uh, that was gonna Johnson contradict me Johnson. saying <laughs> Belgium was gonna go out. So. I don't think. If, 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 I'm, <laughs> if I'm wrong with France going out, then I'll no, my, have to... my first when you asked that my <laughs> my first choice was was Courtois, but it was gonna contradict my Belgium going out thing, so I switched so, to Neuer. France three nil nil draws. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> you say Sean Johnson again? I said Sean Johnson. <laughs> it's going to be Matt, uh, be Matt, be Matt Turner starting. I, <laughs> I just want to see Diego's face. No, uh, I'll do it with Courtois. Hmm. I think this is the year. I think okay. this is uh, this is written in the stars. And if it's going to happen, it has to happen on all cylinders. Martinez from Argentina. I agree. Yeah. Golden glove. I'll go to the boot. Golden boot. Well, that's a, right, that's a me, tough. me, Eric, and Danny said on three. Blah, <laughs> <laughs> <Love>, bitch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you said shut up, bitch. What? Uh, <laughs> What'd you mean, say? Yeah. Are we agreeing on it? Uh, I got to say, I'm on record. Messy, messy. I got to say, messy, messy golden boo. I, I'm gonna stick to my guns. I've said this way, bef- way before during the playoff rounds. I've always said if Wales makes it, I think Bale will. Bale will oh, make it. Yeah. In because of what? the group stage. Because of the group stage. Nah, nah. I think. Well, look, advantage, advantage, that should be Ronaldo taking that, that yeah. opportunity. No, I, I think, I think, I think Bale's gonna take advantage of those group stage matches and just knock in as many as he can. Well, actually, let me see that Portugal. Oh, we'll get into the groups in a bit, so we'll give this and then we'll get into the groups. Okay. I'm going Ney. Neymar. Ney. Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. Hold on. I'm, I'm laying down. Respect. Respect. I'm, I'm laying down respect. My, respect. I'm laying down my. I'm laying down my. Uh, my weapons. Pie? <laughs> I'm Yo, down, I'm surprised right now. I'm laying now. down my weapons. I feel like if, if for me, okay, France, Joris, all right. I feel like if I'm going to, I, I'm already showing my colors. I feel like if Brazil is going to make it all the way, someone has to obviously show out, and if they're going to be responsible for making it that far. The one person that's going to be scoring the majority of those goals has to be Neymar, and and I feel like against wow. so so like Cameroon Five. just Cameroon just tied against Jamaica today, so that's another thing that makes you feel a little bit better with that. But either way, before that, I was I'm going to say Neymar. Of course, you could have other players like other Brazilian players on that team that could score, whether it be Richarlison, Anthony, whatever, Jesus. but or Jesus. <laughs> But I feel like, or Martin, <laughs> or Martin, <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's the thing. It can be spread out. But I feel like if he's going to actually show up the way he's supposed to show up this this World Cup, I'm gonna put my uh, my money on on Neymar. Wow, so I'm surprised at that right now. No, you're doing everything not to say Messi, bro. Um, <laughs> I I would rather say um, Ali Reza, whatever his name is, for Saudi Arabia before I say Messi. <laughs> so you're not laying down your weapons. No, I'm laying down uh, his name or weapons. My name or weapons. Yeah. You, you guys know what I would be surprised though. I said Belgium will go group or not group. They will go out early, but if they do happen to go for. I think 
Don't say Lukaku. No, I, 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 <laughs> Lukaku. The reason why, the reason why, he's a flat track bully. Like last World Cup, he's I think he scored like six goals or whatever, and just Fair scored point. like he scored like three of them against Tunisia. Okay, but where where has he been? Has he even has he even played but recently? You, you can't you can't I, bring up club to like yeah. bro. Okay, for, you, sure, fine, fine, yeah, fine. But true. saving himself. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, like who wants to just go in on right now? One, one other name who usually Lukaku, bro. who shows up for his country internationally as well is Memphis Depay. Maguire top score. One. One, one to watch out for, in my opinion, I think is Memphis Depay. If Netherlands do happen to go far, he's always done well for Netherlands internationally. I, I believe he's like top five. You know what? Like I, top I could... scorers, I can see him like scoring like three pens or some shit like probably, that. Probably, probably. I can also. I'm also looking at this Argentina Saudi Arabia game. In fact, the the game that I had mentioned in 2002 with Senegal, it was actually Senegal France. Senegal beat France, which they had just won the World Cup previous in '98, and it was like a shock. And then the one, the other game that I recorded that was later the same match day, it was uh, Germany, Saudi Arabia, and they won 8 0. So if that's anything to go by, like I wouldn't be surprised if Messi puts fucking five <clears throat> past Saudi Arabia and then he'll go, he holds it. on to that. Yeah. What's the most goals in a World Cup that have been scored? Does anyone know that? Like Maybe closer? I think it's closer. No, in one consecutive World Cup. Yeah, I think it'd be close, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I think so. I thought he was. Wasn't it Ronaldo? He has an all time record, yeah, but I think record. he also has. If in, in, one, one in one tournament. Do you know the answer? No, I don't. I think he does. Oh, That's okay. what I'm asking you guys. I'll take it. Uh, all right, over, over, under. Is it R9? Is it over, under? Under, under, two, under new century or over new century? Turn of the century. I think it's going to be under. I think it's going to be under. Jared Muller or some shit. 16. That's, the, uh, that's the overall. Uh, I think though. that's overall. Yeah, that's overall. We'll we'll find it. We'll find it. Ah man. Uh, thirteen goals. Uh, who is this? Fotani? 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 German. Also sixteen. With thirteen goals in nineteen fifty eight. Or you yeah. Fontaine. Fontaine. There you go. Wow. Nineteen thirty eight. Like Spanish. Like, was, <laughs> was, was, was that West Germany? No, he, he's uh, French. He's West French. Oh. Just Fontaine. There you go. <laughs> thirteen goals in six matches. Wow. Jeez, God, what damn. the hell? That's crazy, I'm telling man. you, it's gonna be group. It's gonna be group stage heavy. Yeah, it was it 1958? So and in Messi, oh. Messi, Messi, Neymar, Bale, Bale. Bale. That's God. so interesting to say that. <laughs> say it, Come on, baby. <sighs> Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo. <laughs> say Ronaldo. No, he knows it. He knows it. Say Ronaldo. Bro. <laughs> it's written in the stars, bro. It's literally written. In the say, stars. say. I don't want to say it. Say, say yeah, MGM. Say wanna, MGM. Say MGM. Because I, I don't want to put it up in the stars in my mind. Say so M, M PayPal. I'll, I'll bite my tongue on another area and I'll say Neymar. Ooh. Neymar. I don't mind that either, bro. I don't mind a that either. Air fist bump. Air fist bump. Yeah, me too. Me too. I mean, I know you're <laughs> Neymar, no, Neymar has it coming though. He 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 could do very well. Yeah. Okay, so I will put this out there. The last uh, let's do five. The last five top goal scorers per World Cup. Harry Kane with seven goals in six matches. 2018. In 2018. James with six goals in five <laughs> matches in 2014. Thomas Muller with five goals in six matches. Miroslav Klose, five and seven. And Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo in 2002, eight goals in seven matches. So, bro, I, I can I can see them running up the score. I, I, I literally. This is probably going to be the highest scoring World I, Cup that, ever. That could be also true. Just that could every, be also everybody's going to be scoring. Yeah, interesting. I think that's a big possibility because of the fact of when the World Cup is taking place, and like you said, like they're literally all just gonna have like one week to just train together. That first group stage game for everyone, yeah, everyone that shit's gonna be ass. Drunk. <laughs> Off the shit, that bro. first group stage game is gonna be ass. Yeah. It's either gonna be like five five across the board, or it's gonna be nil no, nil. No. Like it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> While everyone t- get takes the time to actually get into the the rhythm of the of the tournament. So you think that first game? I don't, don't want to call it game week, but the first phase. What? Match, yeah, the uh, first... match day one. Match, match day, day one. one. For everybody, think it's gonna be like a large amount of they just a shitload of goals. Yeah, bro. I, I think that might happen. It's possible. Yeah. It's possible. I'll I... take it. Uh, all right. So this is a two parter, and then we'll and then one more question after that. And we'll get into the groups. Top four, and your overall winner. <laughs> Whoever's ready to go first, raise your hand, and then I'll just uh, we'll just go from there. The thing is that, like, how does the bracket go? So that that's that's another thing too. We have to we have to pull up the bracket just to make sure that people don't fucking they end up uh, finding each other. Four people from the same side of the bracket. <laughs> yeah, for real. So yeah, but yeah, if you guys can pull up the bracket real quick. That'll be yeah. helpful. I'll give I'll give my I'll give my winners though. Yeah, give your winner. Give your winner first, so, and then we'll get top four. Obviously, what I'm wearing, I think Brazil win will really? win it. But wow. I want 
honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I know I'm kidding out in Brazil, but I think I'd rather have Argentina win than Brazil. I know that sounds crazy. I'm literally anybody who's watching wow. this right now, I was like, 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 I'm watching this, but like, that's the villain doesn't like what you're saying. And, yeah. and Allison, you know, World Cup holding trophy, you know, I'll take that. You know, what I mean, I'm pushing best Premier League goalkeeper of all time if he wins that shit. But either way, um, I think Brazil. I think Brazil. This is it. This is it for them. This is probably their best. Honestly, since they won it in 02, this is probably their best team since. Like in 2006, I know they had Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Kaka, but Dino, obviously best player in the world at the time, phenomenal wasn't the player he was. And then 2010 was probably the worst since the new turn of the century. 2014 was there, but they just had obviously Chago Silva. Um, I believe no, Neymar obviously got injured, but this this right now is probably the most well-rounded, balanced squad in terms. Obviously, they have a huge weakness in their fullbacks, but in terms of just a nice, solid defense, nice, solid midfielders, and an absolutely stacked, just crazy attack. This is probably their best shot at winning the World Cup since '02. I'm gonna piggyback off of you because, um, well, my top four are, would have been uh, Brazil, Argentina, um, Belgium, and France. But I'm stuck between Argentina and Brazil right now. Just I'm, because... I'm literally... 50, oh, it's so close. I'm 50-50 on that game. I'll be honest. I'm 100% 50-50 on that game. But just because of... It's his last World Cup. This is the way everything is planning out to be. It has to be... If, if we know anything, FIFA is corrupt. <laughs> oh, my God. It, it just goes further. If we know further. anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say Messi is another trophy at the end of this tournament. Messi is your winner. Messi, Messi and Argentina are my winners, yes. I can't you really want Messi in Argentina? He's he's stuck between both. I'm, 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 I, I, I can't literally can't choose. He said he's I going Brazil, I, I but he can't, he's like it's like I cannot it's choose. It's a superstition thing. Choose. He doesn't want to say Brazil because he don't want to jinko. I can't choose, dude. I cannot. Choose. I'm saying Brazil straight up. I think Brazil win it. I think Brazil win it. Can I go? Yes, sir. So we're doing four and then winner. Yeah, everyone. Okay. Or just winner for. I'm just so doing winner for four, now. Huh? I'm just, I just said winner for now. I can't think of four. I'll give by four. Fuck it. Uh, Argentina, <clears throat> Brazil, England, Croatia, and the one that wins the one that wins it all is Brazil. I'll give my four. I say Argentina, Germany, England, Belgium. Argentina take it. Mm. Yeah, it's not. And I'll give my. I'm not looking at the bracket, but in terms of just like Argentina, Germany. That's, that's why I had to. Germany might win that, dude. You can go off. You can that's, go off. Well, that's, 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 that's the revenge, though. That's the revenge. Yeah, that's the revenge. Always like that's a very Argentina. defining. A that's the defining game, though. It gives you the the top two of each, so you just take two from each side, and that's your top. Well, four. I don't I don't agree with the top two of uh, okay, okay. of group H, so I'm, I right. can't go by that. My three for sure. I'm going Brazil, Argentina. I'm going Germany. I think they have a good shot this year, and then I'm going outsider. You can't do Germany because Brazil's are they're on the same side. What do you mean? Brazil's on. Assuming, that's assume, Germany assuming this is how the bracket goes. Germany right here. That's Belgium, we won. Germany right here, bro. Yeah, yeah that, that's a Germany, you're right? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, though, I'm not looking at the bracket. That's so weird. Look, it's Belgium, Belgium. Ger- Wait, what the fuck? Why is Germany there? That's weird. Is that come out? Is that, is that that predict- that's predicting Spain wins the group. Yeah, it's a predictor. It's, it's a right, predictor. Right, cool. That's, but, so that's but why as, you, I can't really go by this because my the, my bracket is not. As far as the matchups. That, so. As far as the matchups, like for example, you wouldn't be able to say uh, all three of like Spain, uh, Argentina, yeah, Brazil, because they're on the yeah. same side. Okay, all right. not basing it off bracket. I think Argentina, Brazil, and I think Germany, and then my dark horse, I pick Serbia. So I think Serbia. You think Serbia gonna make this last four? Yeah. Oh shit. I don't. I, don't, I, I like. I think some, they'll do well. Like, like on some Croatia shit. Yeah, I think they'll I do well. I don't think so, man. It would be nice to have a team like that though. Just kind of sneak in. You want a dark horse? You want a dark you horse? Want, you want? You want to have a team to root for when when everybody else is just expected to. Everybody be there. else is already. Yeah, there. there usually always is a pretty strong component or a strong team in semifinals. So obviously, 2018 was Denmark and Croatia. 2014 was. Uh, not really Netherlands. I'd uh, probably say the weakest out of the, those four. And then 2010 was, was it Uruguay? No, 2010. Um, oh. yes. Yeah, right. Yeah, with um uh, with Netherlands, Spain, and uh, I forget who the other one. Was. Yeah. So I mean, I guess you could say that the strongest are in the last four. But I mean, yeah, I'm going to Serbia. All right, all right. I wasn't asked MVP, but I mean, it's gonna be the winner of the World Cup, so pretty obvious, right? Yep. Messi. What? Uh, going, let's go into groups. Oh my god. What is he, Darwin Nunez or some shit? Well, no, I'm saying I didn't go yet. I didn't think my top yeah, four. Yeah, you mean top four? No, no, he didn't. I think he gave you one. No. Okay. No. No, 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 no. I think realistically, Brazil will probably win it. Top four will also include probably Argentina, France. And the third one 
not looking at a bracket, realistically, probably Germany. Realistically, can't happen. But okay. Right. Not looking <laughs> at the bracket because I, I can't. It's hard for me to. It's hard for me to actually picture it. Well, well, Brazil and our, and Brazil will be fighting against uh, Germany for that semifinals. I have a so. feeling there's going to be like. Um, oh, you mean that? Yeah, they would. They would. Yeah, you're right. They Argentina, would. Argentina, Germany, 2014. If they final, make it all the way, or, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or Brazil, true. Germany. I have a feeling it's going to be a rematch between one of those. Three nations. So yeah, be, if, it could be Argentina, Germany for the semifinal, or Brazil, it's, Germany it's, for the for, uh, the quarterfinal. That's yeah. uh, the, the way you're reading it was was correct because even though it has Germany here on the left side, one E and two F are on one side of the bracket, and then two E, the second place of E, is goes on the opposite side. Wait, so Germany oh, would so have, to, have to finish second. So, ge- so, ge- so yes, technically Germany can make it to your top four. Because yeah, if they finish second. Okay. Based on this bracket, if Germany they finish second. second. Okay. If they finish second, of course. If you think they finish first, then it'd be they'd be on the same side as Argentina and Brazil, okay. who all, would also finish first in their groups. So it all gets right, a little so bit literally complicated. Literally anything there. can happen. So we'll do a bracket episode just to kind of really yeah. break it down. We'll, we'll uh, get into in that. The near, very, very near future before the World Cup hopefully actually kicks off. But with all those questions being answered, let's get into the groups and see if any of those opinions change. So group A, we have the host nation, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and Netherlands. <laughs> Danny, are you how confident are you that you guys will be walking out of this group? Who are your top two? I say Ecuador is going to take the top spot, Netherlands second. Really? I'm going to say that. Is, is there any bias in there at all? Am I suspecting? <laughs> you could say it's bias, but at the same time, it's it's knowing the team. I feel like I, I've seen them play enough, and I feel like I'm really confident in what they can do. Okay. I think... It really depends how Senegal would do. No. I, feel like, I feel like Netherlands... Um, I feel like Netherlands are really going to utilize the group just to pummel Qatar to get first spot. Some gold differential shit. I'm going to say... Watch Qatar surprise everybody. I, mean. <laughs> I know. That would suck. That would suck. Ah, uh, fuck, man. This this one is actually pretty hard for me, but I, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Netherlands first, Ecuador second. Although I would have probably put Senegal in there. I just feel like Senegal have the occasional mistake in them. And I feel like that historically has been the crux of most African nations in the World Cup. I feel like maybe they, I don't know what happens, but it, there's just like, it feels like a recurring thing where there's like always a, I don't know, some sort there's of a, like clear a, defensive error. Or a, or a clear miss a penalty. lapse of focus. Or a lapse of focus, correct. Which will lead to a missed penalty. You know, it's crazy since you're on the African country part. It's so crazy that only five African countries qualify for the World Club. I find that nuts. There should be much more countries from Africa qualifying. I mean, you'll, for the you'll get your wish for 26, no, when it expands. Yeah. But you got, I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, who's missing now, I believe? Um, Egypt is missing. Uh, Congo. Nigeria? I'd say Nigeria. Obviously Nigeria, Mali, Algeria. Yeah. Algeria. They both have two solid Libya, teams. Libya, Sudan. Libya. <laughs> 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 See, if, if Osoy was here, he'd, he'd be able to name the entire African continent that's right. missing from the World Cup. All right, let's try to do that. Yeah. I, for, for, me, for me, Nigeria are a big miss. I I, yeah. I would have liked to see Nigeria in in, in the oh, World no, Cup. Yeah, that, exactly. That Imagine. Well. Bye. Right, what do you think? At? For me, Netherlands, Senegal. All right, Nick. I have Netherlands and inch like edging by Umpeito. I had a Senegal to finish first, Netherlands. So and then obviously Ecuador to third. But I, I'm, I'm you're, so you're so dismissive I, of Ecuador for no reason. I, 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 I know. I know. We'll see, I know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll I, I have a feeling Ecuador is going to do well. I just I, I don't know. I have a feeling South American countries are going to do well. This this, this quick week. question I was Davies called up. What was that Davies called up? Who? Davies. Oh, not Sanchez. 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 Wait, the Tana player. What's his name? The, the, the Colombian? Oh, he's Colombian? Yeah, he's Colombian. No, he's Sanchez oh, is Colombian. Are you talking about the, the <laughs> Colombian Ecuadorian <laughs> guy? Yeah. You're so the disrespectful, bro. He, I'm just asking. I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Put the meter on him. Put the meter on him. <laughs> <laughs> Say anything bad about Ecuador. Put the meter on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you calling it Colombian Ecuadorian, then? But I don't know. Uh, what's his name? I forget his name too, but oh, uh, yeah, Davison Sanchez, Davison Sanchez, that's a no, Colombia. Yeah, Colombia. Yeah, you're right. No, I think, I think the Colombia Ecuadorian oh, Ecuadorian Ecuadorian Carrillo or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. I'm talking about something. Oh, something like uh, like Netherlands first. I kind of, it's hard not to see that honestly. Definitely tight between Ecuador and Senegal, but uh, Senegal. But I know it's, it's it, that one's up in the air for me. Second place is up that's in the air. Honestly, I think, I think too, second bro. place is, is is pretty open for for a few of them. It's up for Qatar. <laughs> mm-hmm. Watch guitar, you fucking second. Huh? Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Well, okay. then he said that was the first. 
No, you. No, you're copying and pasting oh, you. Gotcha. Netherlands, Senegal. All group right. E. So we move on to Group E. This is going to be Pride a of the fun nation. one. This is going to be a fun one. England, Iran, from England to USA, and Wales. Can I go first? Yeah, go ahead. England, US. England, US. All right. Fuck Bill. There's so much to kidding, talk about kidding, in kidding, England kidding. right now because <sighs> England are just. I don't know what Potter, what Potter. I'm sorry, I'm uh, what uh, South <laughs> Potter, yeah, Potter, Potter, Potter. Potter. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yes, Potter, Potter, the Potter agenda. Yeah, for real. I don't know what Southgate <laughs> is thinking right now. So my question to you guys: Is he gonna stick by what he said is and play and pick players in form, or is he gonna stick by his guns? And pick his favorites. Is favorites. he gonna play? Is he, nah. gonna, be, is he gonna, no, gonna be Nico on pro clubs? It's, it's, it's favorites. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be nepotism FC. Bro. So no Madison. We're not seeing Madison. We're not no, seeing bro. Benny. Benny White. 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 No. We're not seeing any That's chant. Yeah. Benny White. 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 God. You love what, it. You love what's it. What's the song to? Uh. Um. Wait. Say. Yeah. I forget. I know the song. Yeah. I know the song. But is it Benny White? White. White. Benny White. 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 Alright. What's some of the favorites you can probably play over? Obviously Maguire. I think it was start Maguire to be honest. And he could be, I mean, look, if he's proven anything this season, he could play right back. And there's no right back right now. He's talking about Ben White. What? He's what talking about talking Ben White. I'm talking about Maguire. Oh, he should, I mean, yeah, exactly. Should he even be going to the World Cup? Probably right, not, but I think he will start. Uh, and, and, that's, start. That, if, and if that happens, they're not getting first place. They play They play Iran in the first match, and I think that's going to be enough to kickstart you, them. You bro. know what's crazy about Iran? Apparently, they have some crazy defense. I like, the fuck I'm, apparently they're like crazily defensively. I, I was listening to some Iran's, podcasts Iran's and they're Asian, either in their Asian qualifiers that they have a really, really good really? defense. I mean, no, I don't think I'm they'll get through, but I can definitely see like, maybe against Iran, uh, Iran against Wales, against USA, against England. I can see definitely one of those games where Iran maybe don't win, but they just make it like rigid for the opposition team, like where they just concede like an XG of like point ten or some shit. I can see Iran like troubling some team where at least one of them. So. Quick yeah. question: What is the IR in IR Iran? Is it uh, International Republic of Iran? Oh, right. That makes sense. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, that yeah. <laughs> 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 Yo, yeah, yeah. Go, go play that geography game. What's it called? Go play that geoguesser. Geoguesser. Yo. All right, all right. I think we need to talk more about England and then obviously the big elephant in the room since obviously we live in the country, U.S. But England, though. <laughs> This is probably Southgate's last international tournament, in my it opinion. Hundred percent. Mm, so. Close Islamic Republic. Islamic oh, Republic. Okay. okay. Close. Close. I had no idea. This is probably. That's why I said Southern, maybe. Yeah. To, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. They am I'm worse. Oh, damn, yo, Four clip stars. Bro. And <laughs> you just want to take away, take back his wink, bro. <laughs> Still more stars than you. But yeah, yeah, I think this is Southgate's last international tournament. Whether it's he's, he's out. gonna. He's out. 100%. Yeah, he's definitely yeah. And whether he's gonna change, I guess, his approach where he maybe he will. Oh changes all wrong with from going actually into picking players who on merit should play for example james madison over you know for example mason mount i i wouldn't be surprised if he does you know go on that but i'm gonna stick where he sticks to his favorites and i mean yeah if man it's tough because if england do have a good tournament they're just such an predicament where even if they do have a good tournament i'd be in favor of getting rid of him but i could definitely see them if england do have a tournament i could definitely see him staying just I have a feeling if they do have a twin, I think I think he'll stay for I, some reason. And that's the thing. I, I feel like if he sticks by his guns, which is playing his favorites over the, the players that actually deserve to be playing, he's not going to do well. Maybe he probably got out of the group first place just because look at the competition there. But just after that, I, I, just, I don't see him going any further than that. I think it's just going to stall out. And that's just the Euro run uh, was was one to remember for them. But... They didn't play any significant teams. They didn't. Mm-hmm. They didn't. The only team they played against, you can say Germany, but I mean, Germany didn't have the best players at the time, I would say. And I mean, even look at 2018 World Cup, I believe in the court and the knockouts, they played Sweden, mm. Sweden, Croatia, and then I'm missing one big one, uh, Denmark, I believe. So who, who do you have leaving this group? All right, you want one more? Do you know who the coach for Iran is? No. Carlos Queiroz. Oh, where's he from? The Portugal guy. Mm. That's crazy. Carlos Queiroz. You didn't know that? They, he could be. That's crazy. He's going to get third place for what? But I think I think England I will top it. That. And then I think Gareth Wales Gareth. would just edge it over USA to get second place. And the reason why I say that, I just like I said, I just think he's just a big tournament player. This is Wales' first World Cup since like 64 or something like that. I just think, man, even though he's been playing, like obviously LAFC has been playing decently. but They won. 
Yeah, they did. And he got he scored he that scored he scored the one. header in stoppage yeah. time right before but the whistle. He just he just shows up, man. Twenty sixteen Euros, you can't forget that. He just shows up in these tournaments and it's just he's just gonna carry that team. And it's not like Wales have a decent team. Like it's not like Wales from twenty sixteen where he completely has to like they have like uh Johnson from uh, Brendan Johnson from Nottingham Forest, Nico Williams. So it's not just completely like a team full of bums, but I think Wales are just edge and then USA unfortunately just third place. How old is Bill? Like 31, 32, maybe? Yeah, he's still, than no, no way. Still at a very good age. Either way, though, he's uh, still a dog, like bro. 34. I don't understand how he does it. I said in the chat before. Actually, I don't even know. I thought he was a good age. And I'm probably missing a lot more names, but like Gareth Bale and Diego Maradona, like just when it comes to 33. Just backs against the walls, nah, those age. two just get through it, man. So. He's a perfect age to have his last World Cup. I just realized he's only three years older than us. Isn't that crazy? That's, That's the, the thing. Mm-hmm. This is also, like, technically it's our generational World Cup. Like, these, most of these players are born early, mid-90s. Whereas prior, they were, like, 80s babies and 70s babies still, but... Damn, all these niggas old. Yeah, for <laughs> real. I'm going England-US. England-US? All right, so should we discuss about US? Who Listen, man. Say, man. Besides, these fuckers don't know who the fuck call at up, least, man. At the, 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 the call-up roster, if you guys saw it, um... Well, you got Adam Turner, right, at least. Yeah, he got Adam Turner, but leaving out P. Fox, leaving out Pepe, leaving out Zach Steffen, who was supposed to be, like, the, the number one after Matt Turner's heroics and, and stuff during the Gold Cup in the in the past, I think, two years. So... I, I I don't know, man. I don't like I don't, I don't like what they're what they're bringing. I'm surprised to have Stefan out because you Sucks. he did huh? Sucks. Stefan? The, the, yes. the, it was because that one game against Liverpool in the FA Cup final where he fucked up like two times. I think that just completely I mean, brought it. Oh, take that. If there's right. anything we know about goalkeepers, once they have those kinds of games, yeah, it just continues. Goes bad, dude. Look, look at Yoris. Runer Silver, you know, a clear example yeah. of the players who just mean you. Who are just doing pretty good at club. Or Carius. Carius, Carius, yeah. Carius. Oh, I think Yoris is a nice. But um, yeah, the goalkeepers are are, are 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 fine fine breed because once they have one bad game, that could be the rest of their career. So uh, I mean I don't know. He Do you be, guys have any confidence in the U.S. He, making he, a push? He brought in all the European nope. players, right? No. So he just yeah. left out the MLS ones. Um, th- yeah. There's a couple. Of, there's a couple of MLS players. I know there's one from from Red Bulls in there. I forget who else is in there. As long as he has to go pull a sit in, that's all that matters. LeBron, LeBron, <laughs> LeBron football. I mean, did you see that the your fucking sim that you were talking about that they, they had USA getting to the basically to the semifinals with Pulisic scoring five goals? Who? The sim that you guys were talking about. Are you serious? EA Sports sim. You didn't see that? Ah shit. Yeah. 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 Can't, go yeah, now, can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't go by that now, can you? Can't go by that now, can you? You in the finals? I mean, are you was in the finals? Quarter. Semi-finals. In the, in the oh. semifinals. So semifinals? Would... Yes, because he scored five goals in five Holy games. Shit. I would I would love to see that. Uh, f- please be right, FIFA. Please be right. <laughs> in one thing at least. Well, you, the US, I mean, their team isn't, like, their midfield was it Tyler Adams, McKenny. Even, obviously, McKenney has been poor for, for what is it, Juve, right? Juve, yeah. And then Musa did, at Valencia. Did so. Reem get called up? Yes. Tim Reem, yeah. Tim I like Reem, him, yes. bro. I like him Tim a lot. Reem, yeah. He's, he's decent. Tim Reem. Reem? 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 I, I, I don't hate him, but I just. I like him. I feel like he's, like, underrated. Just because he's Reem, that makes for fun. I feel like they, they have a, <laughs> they have a full team of like young, just young, hungry players that just want to show up. And there is, in my opinion, there's really no star in the team. They just have a, a lot of. Post is a star. Oh, come on, man. But, he's a star. He, he, I mean, a star. That's, there's a there's a big difference between they think and is he. Does he right now it? he's just a glorified well, substitute. It's one thing they're going to have a star. You know, I mean, I don't I don't think they have a star. I just think they have a collective of players that are like. Can, in my opinion, are very could potentially play really good together. There's no, there's no like, there's no like a Messi and then a couple like one or two that are like oh, not really under like the level below him, and then just this. These are like I think they're all like just e- they kind of equal. <clears throat> no standouts. No. I, I still, I still think it's gonna be England Wales. My my vote is England Wales. Same England Wales. I think I think Wales have the. We'll have, like, I guess, the experience to be able to edge out those those international games. But uh, on the U.S. real quick, so I don't watch USMNT like that, like that, to be honest. But what is there like glaring weak- weakness coming into this tournament? You think defense? Uh the whole field. Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> well, what was the game that we were watching? We we're like, bro, they have no fucking build up. It yeah. was the, it was like one of those last friendlies. I it was remember. Iran, we, no? we were talking oh, about. Oh yeah, I think it was against Iran. Oh, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. Oh yeah, Saudi Arabia. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. 
Ah, man. So, they had no creation. Yeah, they had no that's the problem. Movement. They don't have somebody who can just, like, unlock a defense. Correct. And uh, Granted, yeah, that's a very hard player to have, but if you don't have that, especially with a team that doesn't have that much firepower, because, let's be honest, Pulisic isn't a goal scorer, per se. And then I, it, I don't if, think he if, deserves if, a number 10. And if you look, so. exactly, I don't think so either. And he has a captain's armband, which I think should be on Tyler Adams, 100%. at least. Because Pulisic, I've seen, at least, lose his fucking temper. He starts fucking moaning and complaining. Yep. As, that aside, it just takes him out of the whole game, like, futbolisticamente. Like, he doesn't focus on what he has to do on the fucking pitch. Funny how he says that. What the, this is one of the biggest pitches in the field. <laughs> Say it again? Bro. Funny how he says that Fernandez, when Fernandez is one of the biggest Fernandez, bitches out in the field. Fernandez has more fucking Shit. goals in one season than Pulisic will have. No, in no, no. Career, I didn't say so. anything about goals. I said about it doesn't bitches. matter. It, he, could, he could get fucking he is pissed the off. Biggest bitch he could get out pissed off field. and he still fucking delivers. Mm. So don't put Pulisic mm. in that bracket, please. Okay, respect, right, now, respect Bruno. And you, you brought up like this, like uh, I guess striker can scoring goals. And then obviously, like Pulisic, if he doesn't show up in terms of on the goal scoring end, I think it's over for the U.S. Because like you just mentioned, they have absolutely no striker who gives you like Jordan, that. Jordan Moore. Morris, Josh Sargent? I don't even know. Josh Sargent, like, come on, bro. The guy scored no. that. That's going to bring kick all through her back. Fuck it. Honestly, bro, <laughs> like, the physical presence of a top, bro, like. No, but that's bro, what they. No, that's no, where no, 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 no,
like Eric did last one with his heart or realistically? No, no, no. I'm calling with pure heart. I'm not going okay. realistically. Because okay. Mexico realistically are not getting out All of right, the group. So first question, okay. is it era penal? No, not up and on. Okay. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> not up and on. Not up and on at all. Damn, how do these, <laughs> these cars falling, oh, man? Yeah, I don't know. Save us, save us, I, no. I, I, no. I, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like the scars know that. They, they're just like... You know how you like slump in the sofa and shit just to like get out of the way? And like, it's woke up talk, bro. Woke up talk. No, I, I'm, I'm saying... I'm going to just keep it simple. Argentina, Mexico, and that's it. Mexico played Poland the very first game. And I think if they're going to get any cobwebs out, they have to get a result against Poland. If they don't, it's over. So They won Disney hat trick in that first game. If they don't, it's over. The, yeah. the thing is that, like... Honestly, whoever wins that game is probably going to make it through. I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I'm going Argentina-Poland as well. Yeah, as well. And obviously, Lewandowski, it's going to be a big tournament for him. He hasn't shown up for Poland. He had a decent Euros, but he hasn't shown up that much for Poland internationally. So I think if he is able... If Poland are going to be, obviously, go far, obviously, Lewandowski is going to be spearheaded. But I think, I have a feeling, I'll, I'll, although I have a pretty big agenda on him, hmm. I, I do have a feeling he'll, de- he'll do decent in this tournament, Lewandowski. Bro, and plus, Chesney tax, bro. He, when it comes to, <sighs> Chesney, Easy. Chesney's so overrated, it's crazy. Chesney but, tax. But yeah, I, I know, Argentina, Poland, Mexico. Yeah, I think, Saudi I think, uh, at least looking at it. So I can shut up and we can move through the groups. Argentina, Mexico. The 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 fact that Mexico have Saudi Arabia in the last game is uh, the little glimmer of hope that I'm holding on to, looking at it with three pairs of rose tinted glasses. All right, but, all right, what are your thoughts on like Mexico squad overall and like they're in fucking shambles because they have they have no fucking forwards. They have exactly. no forwards. That's why he's picking and then heart and, then, and then and then uh, Tecate Corona was already ruled out yesterday. Fucking Tata Martino said he wants to bring Raul Jimenez and he hasn't played a single fucking minute. And then Santiago Jimenez, who plays on Fire Nord, who has 14 goals in nine matches, he's saying that, oh, even though he scored a lot of goals, he hasn't played enough minutes for me, so I'm not going to take him. He's already said that. So I feel like, I don't know, I think it's it's a mess. It's yeah, a mess. It's I, a mess. I, I feel like this World Cup for Mexico is just like get through it and just wait for 2026. I, I, think, I think so too. I think so too. 2026 may be their, their year to just get, get through the Just get through Qatar and just wait for 2026 I, 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 I and just so. build up for four years. I think so. But I'm going to look fucking stupid if I look back at this recording and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm being realistic. Uh, Argentina, Poland. No, fuck that. I'd rather be wrong and just go for my team. No, that's why right, 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 they I'll just ask. I'll, 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 I'll swing for my team no matter what. So okay. Argentina. I want to be wrong too, yo. Saudi Arabia, Mexico. <laughs> 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 okay, so no. In that order. In that <laughs> order. From, from, your, from your lips to God's ears, please. <laughs> Inshallah, bro. Inshallah. Inshallah. Oh, Inshallah. Inshallah. D. We got one of the favorites to get knocked out, France. Denmark. Tunisia and Australia. I'm going with you guys first because you guys both have France coming out. Yeah. Um, Fuck the stats, bro. No, I, I, okay, okay. Who do you have first? Who do you have second? Um, I know I say fuck the stats, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else am I going to say, though? Who you said so early. But I only said that because of the, the curse. The curse. The curse. But realistically, I don't... I have to choose between like Australia, <laughs> Denmark, and Tunisia. France. Australia, Denmark, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna say, bro? You got the friends on the way. I'm going. I'm going Denmark first, Tunisia second. Ooh. Tunisia have Australia in the second match. France take on Denmark in the second match. I feel like that's gonna be the the match where France lose points. They they could take an L against Denmark in the second match week. And then Tunisia, if they get the three points against Australia, I feel like they can pull everything out against France. So I'm going Denmark-Tunisia, even if I'm completely wrong. I'm sticking (laughs) sticking by the World Cup curse. France-Denmark. I'm going Denmark-France. One thing with France I find interesting is, I mean, and the similarities between a lot of managers, Didier Deschamps, um, Fernando Sanchez, uh, Sanchez, uh, Gareth Southgate, and uh, probably missing other. They are very, and Jose Enrique for Spain. Is it, is it Jose or Luis? I always forget. No, Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique for Spain. They always they have a lot of similarities in choose in terms of choosing favorites. So in terms of favorites, at least for France, I think I have a feeling he'll choose Adrio Rabio over Camavinga. Because Rabio, first of all, it just feels like he has Didier Deschamps' Wait, his nudes. I thought it was already <sighs> confirmed that Camavinga was. No, he's in. No, he's in. He's in. ESPN FC. ESPN FC corrected it. I fucked it up. No, it's ESPN FC, bro. Yeah, ESPN is a joke. And then Griezmann. So... 
Griezmann hasn't been the best for Atletico, but obviously the Champs loves Griezmann. Griezmann was phenomenal in 2018. But obviously Christopher Nkunku for RB Leipzig has been on smoke for the past 18 months. So I'm interested to see whether he picks the likes of, like I said, Camavinga over over Rabio or Nkunku over Antoine Griezmann. So it, also, at least in the backs, like will he start Saliba, Kanate, Jules Koundé? That'd be stupid if he doesn't. Burn the whole fucking World Cup down. Is he going to start King <laughs> Pembe? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, he if he doesn't burn himself down, I'll burn it down. I will change my mind if he doesn't, If it, uh, on what I'm about to say, if, if he doesn't put Saliba in the first. And also, even goalkeeper, Joris over over Mike Magnan, who's been on smoke again for AC Milan. Mike Nunn well, wasn't so. called up, I don't think, right? No. Mike Nunn wasn't even called up. Mike You're Nunn lying. Was, no, he wasn't. I think I was in the chat earlier. Yeah, he wasn't called up. Mike Nunn wasn't called up. Oh, my gosh, bro. But... Like I said, Didier Deschamps was another one of those favorite favorite managers. And I also believe with along with him and Gareth Salke, I believe after this international tournament, I think he'll move on as well. So oh so I, I Yeah, think I think that, I saw I think I actually saw sorry to cut you off, but yeah. I think I mean like I, obviously it could be a rumor, uh it just could just could be completely false, but I thought I saw a tweet somewhere where Zidane is already lining up to take the to take the head coaching job after this World Cup. Or France. Hmm. So, watch. Yeah, mine would be Denmark, France. I don't think France will get group, but I do think they'll finish second. So Denmark, France, and then Australia, Tunisia. I'm going France, Denmark, Australia, Tunisia. I'll go with France, Denmark. Yeah, huh? he's he's taking Jordi, Sariola, and Mandanda. <laughs> as of as of their 25 player Steve roster Mandanda. that was dropped today. That's crazy, so. man. Let's move on to Group E: España, Germany, Japón, and Costa Rica. And poor Bambrook 2.0. Posticos. Posticos. Well, Kedro Navas. Bambrook 2.0. Well, Kedro Navas have a performance of, uh, of, of his career at this point. Uh, well, Germany continue dominating. I think they will. I think, I think they'll comfortably get out of that group. Well, also, Spain's youth in the midfield carry them to glory. Fuck Pedri. Because like you say, <laughs> we'll resolve all of this in the next episode. <laughs> yeah, it sounds cool. Mm-hmm. And the next episode. Yeah. Yeah. What do you so, think? So, who do you think? Um... I think Germany take the top of the table. Then it's between Spain, Japan. I'm gonna put Spain second. I'm going Germany, Costa Rica. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah, my was hard bro, today bro, and everything. Bro, tell me about it. Bro, <laughs> last year, high school senior, I'm a, I'm raw Costa Rican, bro. I know all about Costa Rica now. They're, they're, they're pura vida, shambles, bro, pura they're vida. shambles right now, bro. Bro, pura vida. Shambles, pura vida, bro. bro. Costa Rica, the Federation is in shambles. I know for, all about for, it. Bro. For the ticos that I know. You support Edia, then? You support Edia? Uh, Vista Gamboa. Vista Gamboa. Vista Gamboa. Germany, Spain. <laughs> Germany, Spain. I'm going Spain, Germany. Japan. They're gonna take fucking um, Brian Ruiz when he's Rica. Brian Ruiz bro. until he's fucking forty five to World Cup. <laughs> Real quick on Costa Rica, what my friends have told me basically their manager hasn't it's a, he's basically and it's probably very like relevant across a lot of countries. They basically he's basically just taking the players who did well in twenty fourteen and just <laughs> moving on with them, just keeping on with them. So until they just dry out. So. They they probably dry out already. Yeah. Long time ago, so. But uh I'm actually going Germany, Japan. Wait, did you pick? Yeah, yeah. No, Nico did. I, yeah. I, I heard him pick. He said, Spain, Germany. Spain, Germany. Spain, Germany. Okay. Yeah. I'll go Germany, Japan. Um, Real quick on Spain as well, bring it back to favoritism. Whether he starts Rodri over Busquets, I don't think so, but obviously Rodri probably should start over Busquets. And I don't think he'll take Thiago Alcantara um, in the squad. He likes playing Coque. Um, and then obviously up top Alvaro Morata maybe over Gerard Moreno or whatever oh, so I, and especially that mid- that midfield it's it's two out of those three I, I can see like Japan very, because of that I can see Japan, I, I can see Japan. But honestly bro I love Morata bro I think Japan have a no, really good team for this that. for this group at least, at least for this group I can see them definitely maybe not Germany but giving Spain a run for their money man like, I think that's going to be the team that they have, they want they got to reach for unless they do it when they won it in what was it 20 20 when was it that Spain won it 2010. 2010. 2010 against Netherlands, yeah. yeah. Um, just based off fucking midfield, uh, I don't think Spain will go far. Yeah, but season. they don't got that. They don't have a WBA. Exactly. Yeah. They don't yeah. have what they used Get to the have. Yeah, here. but I, I'm, I'm basing so. my, my Spain first off the Euros, and it was only a year ago, literally a year and a half ago, and they didn't have... Their team, they didn't, they didn't have Ansu Fati. Bro, they cheated that fucking... Nah, game. bro. They outplayed Italy in that they semifinal. They cheated. Didn't <clears throat> Italy win? Yes, but they made, Spain made it to the semifinals. Yeah, but no one had Spain make it to the semifinals, man. It's not even in the World Cup, though. But uh, you, you can argue that even some teams in the Euros face harder teams than the World Cup. Yeah, Spain sucks. Really though, but I, I, I don't know. I like the reason why I'm basing why I think Spain will do well is just I think Luis Enrique is a phenomenal manager. I'm just basing off the Euros. I think they if, did if Spain do well. If, if Spain do well is because of the Rodrigo. He's probably a top midfielder, one of the top midfielders right now in the world. 
<laughs> yeah, just brother. <laughs> What's interesting as well, the center backs, um, Laporte and Pau Torres, they're both left footed. So it'll be interesting to Garcia? see. I want to clip, I, I, I wanna I clip that think, audio so I bad. Think, <laughs> Spade suck. Uh, I actually think Eric Garcia probably has a chance because I just don't, I just don't see him playing two left footed center back. He did it at the Euros in 2021. I just, it's just not viable in my opinion. So no, Eric Garcia. I'm, I'm sticking with Costa Rica. It, it would be nice. I can't believe you're saying Costa Rica. It would be All nice. Right, let's move on to Group F. We got <laughs> probably going to be dead last, but it would be nice. Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. I'll go first. Me first. Uh. <laughs> Croatia, Belgium. Croatia, Belgium. Okay. In that order. Um, Belgium, Belgium. Croatia. Oh, the yeah. Croatia? That's, that's fair. Same, bro. Belgium, Croatia. Yeah. Yeah, probably, but I think sticking with my Canada Dark Horse, I'm going to say Croatia, Canada. Oh, oh wow. I like that. I like that shot. I'm going to go. I, yo, I. That's crazy. I, I, I already said it's the, the same thing as me saying Denmark Tunisia. You're like, oh, you got you sound crazy. You, and then for well, I mean, I, for Belgium, it's like, yeah, that's, that's, I said, that's a fair shout. Well, I oh, said Belgium the, are far worse than. Like, but I also France. said, I also said Belgium for me is going to be the early, the yeah, early yeah, bow wow. Yeah, yeah, so I'm not going to go say I'm not going to say Belgium Croatia, which no, I was originally going to say. I'm not criticizing that. I'm just saying that like for the same situation in Group D. Oh yeah. They're yeah. saying Group F. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> Canada's on. better than Tunisia. That's also true. <laughs> nah, I've been no. I've been wanting Belgium to win or like, get far in the World Cup for a long time. They, they, I feel like they always had a decent team. That decent team's already fallen apart, but hopefully they do something. Yeah, I, I'd go Belgium, Croatia, and in 2018, Eden Hazard is really the one caring, not caring, but definitely not. But he was, being, he was basically the front leader, and obviously he isn't the same. So the pressure will be on De Bruyne whether you can, you know, really carry the load of that front line and really carry them and try to get them as far as he can. So mm -hmm. I'd go Belgium, Croatia, and then I think Canada will do decently. But. Look, De Bruyne has had this whole entire first half of the season in the Premier League to just practice hitting a big ass motherfucker in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> All he's got to do is change it to Lukaku, and then you know, it's will he convert the same, bro. it? That's it's different. Maybe not the same. Same. <laughs> it's, it's not, not the that's same. up for debate. But Haaland will score ten out of ten. Lukaku may score like. Two one out of ten. One so out of two, ten. Two out of a hundred. All right. Two out of a hundred. You a hundred balls, you make two goals. Right. Uh, I'm going to go, yeah, Belgium, Croatia as well. Um, all right. Let's go on to Group G. Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon. Anybody have that ready? I have mine ready. I do too. Brazil, Mitro. Yeah, bro. Brazil, That's mine. Mitro. That's okay. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil Serbia. Serbia. I'm going Brazil, Switzerland. Really? Mm -hmm. No, mi, mi, no más mi mitro, yo. No más mi mitro. Yeah, I love mi mitro, but yeah, mi, mi capi granit. Mi ca wow. Yeah, Switzerland have always South been decent. Yeah. Southgate, Switzerland bro. Switzerland have always been decent get, in the World they, Cup. They they get far, uh, there's going to be, okay, okay, be, okay, okay. be a Shakiri screamer yeah, in at least one of them. Yeah, yeah, there's going yeah, to be one. How old is Shakiri? And I do have like a, I would say a... He looks it, doesn't he? Granit Xhaka, but like I do like... Um, Switzerland because I did watch them play against Argentina in the World Cup and 2014, 2014 and I will say they were very very just <laughs> fundamental they they weren't doing anything extravagant but they were just doing the basics and they gave Argentina a run for the money it wasn't an easy game it was a it was a fun game to watch and that's when I hit Argentina to begin with but that's, that's another conversation but uh, I'm going to go Brazil Switzerland yeah so everybody said everybody else said Brazil Serbia right Serbia, Brazil, Serbia, Serbia, yeah. agree that. Okay. All right. well I mean wait, Cameroon's winning the World Cup though <laughs> that is true. Against Morocco. And Group H. This could be the group of death right here. Yeah, I think it is the group of death. Yeah, I believe so. PU. Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, Korea. Which you want me to go first? Huh? No, which one? <laughs> oh, which, which one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you want to go first or you want to go last? That's you. I'll leave you because it's your, it's your, it's your country, man. I'll go first. You guys are going to roast me anyway, no matter what, if I go first or last. So, Uruguay, Portugal. That's it? Give, give contest to Uruguay. Are Portugal in the mud, or are Uruguay that good? I think we're that good. Okay. I think we're, I mean, I've given you guys the context before, and you, already, you guys already gave me shit for it. I, we've beaten all these teams in the past, but yes, that's in the past. I know that. I get that. But, <laughs> but, like I said, this is this is finally a, a Uruguay team that I'm actually really really excited for. So I, I really think, I mean, it's it's gonna be interesting. I mean, we play Korea first. That's gonna be a crucial game just to get out on the front foot. We play Portugal next. That's gonna be probably 
Okay. It's I can see a draw. I can definitely see a draw. It's gonna be a tough game, and then we we round it out with Ghana, which is gonna be the storyline, <laughs> at least for you guys. But uh, no, I I would I we I think we have it. Look, look, I just I just gotta counter this real quick, and Party's gonna have a field day. Party is gonna have a screamer like he did against Spurs. Party's gonna against just... Korea and Portugal. Sure, yeah. Oh wait, I might. Wait, what? Oh yeah, wait, he'll, yeah, he'll have he'll have those great games against Korea and Portugal. Nah, it's gonna it's, it, <laughs> if it, he's gonna save himself nah, for the dude. last match day. <laughs> yes, why not? I, so like the the <laughs> the um, the matches for that group. What do I place Korea first? Then they play Portugal, and then, then they Ghana. finish up with Ghana. I think they'll make it out because of that yeah. last game. Yeah, well, you, what, you, you, you think the last game doesn't matter for you guys? I don't think so. Yeah, he's, he, the way he's making it seem like oh, it was the last game, it doesn't that, matter. He's that means that they wants. would have to be both. The, okay, South Korea given. They would have to be Portugal comfortably. So that way they I can could see a draw against Portugal, but I could, I, I'm so pretty what, sure. So but yeah. but I think so, we I think no, be Portugal. The, the I think we beat Portugal. He has for these other countries to come back. And they bite him in the ass. His, oh, his four stars are going to be end up with four you points in the group. So. You don't convince me. I am switching side. <laughs> <laughs> From PU to what? PG? PU to UP. <laughs> PU to UP. So you jo- you're no, joining no, no, me? Just, 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 just. No, I'm sticking with my PU. Okay, so Portugal, Uruguay? Mm-hmm. Uruguay, Portugal? I think I'll go. I think I'll do. I'll go Uruguay, Portugal. Nigga, you call Southgate and you know, all these motherfucker favorites. Look at you. Why are you supporting by Uruguay? Because it's done. Exactly. He's done miracles. <laughs> but the mir- oh, whatever. I'm out of here. Uh, count your blessings, Marco. <laughs> count your blessings. When, when Dado Nunes finishes top score, he's done, he's oh, done miracles. Oh, he's Nico, bro. Nico's you won't play his goal. Nico's coming out you punching. Eat your, your hat. Eat your hat. You got to know if you have to shoot or pass. Oh, yeah. He's, he's still, he's still going to put in where you're at. A fish in the sea. What do you mean? He had to score goals. He can put a word by one. He has scored goals. He scored more goals than Gabriel Jesus. Although he hasn't been better than Gabriel Jesus, but he has scored more goals. <laughs> put the, put, he maybe has put the asterisk. Oh, he <laughs> <has> <laughs> Although he hasn't been better. Although he hasn't been better. He has been better. Bro, he's already, he's already on the fucking salad train, bro. He has nah, 10 bro. chances to put one away. Nah, 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 all I know is that he has like six goals in his last five Listen, stars. Gentlemen, this is all set up for a blockbuster final match day three. Ghana takes the revenge of Uruguay for <laughs> the sins committed, the crimes committed against them in the past World Cup with that Luis Suarez handball. And it's going to be Portugal mm. first, Ghana second. Not, uh, How do you go on from Forlan to the Uruguay and Andy Carroll? Come on. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's an excellent point. That's an excellent point. Oh, shit. That's, excellent point. Point. Oh, that's, that's point. Point. That's very good point. Point. Dirty, bro. Oh, shit. I don't know how you guys made group my, base like the most interesting my, one. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Yo, I'm excited yo, yo. for group H. Yo, for all the for all the Valverde lovers, y'all don't love Valverde now. No, that's crazy. That's one player. That's one player. That's crazy. Like, look, around, uh, look around. I place him. him. I place him in second place. I ha- I'm just talking shit. That's crazy. For I play, Valverde. I actually make nah, it bro. Goal, so. Listen, like, Valverde does good for Real Madrid, you know. And I'm not saying about Uruguay. Uruguay have a good ass team though. Araujo, just good spine, just athletically PMP. I think they can physically match with any team in the, in the, in the tournament. All right, fair. P U U P U P. Portugal Ghana. Portugal, Ghana. I always rate Uruguay as, as competitive and they give people trouble. I'm going to put them at the top of the table. And then just to be contrarian to P- Portugal, I'm going to put Ghana in second place. All right. Ooh. I can also Ronaldo, say that. Ronaldo. I can say that. I can say that. Um, UG. Uruguay historically do pretty well in, in the World Cup. They do. But not this time. Let's go, Let's go. <laughs> Oh, also, I forgot about someone, bro. Oh. Luisito Suarez, hijo de puta, bro. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. 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 Well, how, how many, how many handballs is he going to save this time? Five, right? <laughs> baby. Five. Oh, wow. Wow. Miracle, he's going to have a two saves and then three bites. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> That's, That's, That's what I'm guessing. He'll bite. He'll bite. Maybe he'll one, bite, ra- he'll maybe bite one races mark. He'll maybe bite, one. He'll bite party. He'll bite party. Suarez, got him. Oh, bro. Racism heat map is going to be all over the Ghana bench, bro. He'll bite party and call the N-word. I swear to God, bro. All right, and Group I, Guatemala. Let's go! (laughs) (laughs) Look, that's all we got for the this first episode of the World Cup. Diego was amazing enough to bring us these. Yeah, so I I wanted you guys to open up your books. If if you have the same stickers, I have backup, but I wanted to see who you guys got on your on your stickers. I got my boy Matt Turner. Let's go. Are all the stickers the same? I hope not. Oh, with, with, oh, they right. are because I got my Turner. Oh, got my Turner. Damn it! That's not my special. <laughs> <laughs> he bought the same copy Olsen four times. That's crazy. And fucking, and then Hazard. I got Mr. Burger King. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got Iguain. 
All right, just so just so that this doesn't. Uh, Where everybody got? They everybody got the same thing. Just so yeah, I think they do. Just so it doesn't go far, we'll open three packs. So there's yeah. there's five uh, stickers in each pack. Cariso. Para calo. All right, all right. Yeah, I, I want you also to. So, so, so I open these now. Oh, there's more here. Yeah, yeah open it. Look, now. we got Moises Casado. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Can you throw this to Marco? This is for you to also open. But the ones that were open on camera, that almost landed in the cup. Yeah. Oh, open them up and then let's see who you guys get. All right, so mine's open. And I will. Yeah, got I don't know who I got. Oh, I... shit, I ripped the card. Okay. Yo, are in the stars, baby. <laughs> what? Can you show for the camera? Show for the camera? Show for the camera? Argentina. 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 Okay, okay, okay. So uh, we'll start with you, uh, Nico. Who'd you, who'd you end up packing? <laughs> oh, one of my favorite players of all time. El Fideo. El Feito. Algen Di Maria. Okay, Di Maria. I got David Klassen from Ajax. Medi Taremi. I believe he plays at Porto still. Yes, then... he is He is actually Iran's uh, star player. Yeah. He is their focal point, the 30-year-old. And player. then I got the team picture of Argentina and the team picture of Senegal. Nice. Oh. So it's not bad. All right, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Eric? I got Marcos Llorente. Uy. Hassan Al-Tambakiti. <laughs> you say it. <laughs> 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 no, that was really good. Say it again. Thought, whisper, it, whisper it, whisper it, whisper it. Hassan Al Tambaki. Oh, okay, okay. You, you, you forgot to put the into all of them. No, I'm talking to you. Clem. <laughs> uh, Haris Serefovic. 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 Yeah, Serefovic. John Stones. John Stones. And <laughs> Suichi Gonda. Japan goalkeeper, oh. bro. That sounds like a that sounds like a that's gotcha. Gold, that's man. Golden Glove right there. That's, gold. that's, yeah. gold, that's not Golden Glove, man. That's not Golden Glove. Uh, all right, uh, Danny, who who'd you end up packing? We got Vahid Amiri from Iran. From Iran, okay, cool. We got Philip Kostic from Serbia. Serbia. Nice, nice, nice. We got Resnel Kimpembe, France. Kimbepe. We got John Stone. Oh, shit. Yeah. John Stones, England. Last one. Right, hold on, hold on. Let me just wait. Sami Al Najay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He had to lay back from, up from Saudi Arabia. K it's KSA, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Right. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. All right, who'd you, who'd you uh, have to pack in? Two, two players. Pura Vida, Ricardo Blanco. Hey, that's it, Costa Rica advances. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fingers crossed for no pep roulette this weekend. Fodinho. Fodin. Fodinho. Oh, shit. I got uh, Serbia, Cameroon, and Francia. You got three oh, emblems? That's insane. Can you show that? Can you show the camera? That's a crazy pack. Pack luck. You packing. Wow, oh, pack luck. Yeah, got, I, thought, I thought you got the, the one that they got. You got the Two hollows. Points. Crazy. Marco, do you mind reading Next. out who you ended up packing? Of course. I got Harold Malkodi from Cameroon. Okay. I got... Cheng Wong from Korea, Aziz Benich oh. from Australia. Okay. Lori Sana Sane Sana Sane <laughs> from Germany. Sana Sana Carrana. And then I got <laughs> I got the emblem from Federación Ecuatoriana de Football. Oh, yeah, 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 let me get that one. Let me throw it that way. Throw it this way. I'll take you. I'll take you, John Stones. <laughs> Who you want? You want John Stones? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's what we had matching, bro. Wow. Wow, you don't want to want to match with you anymore, bro. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> And that's the first trade that you see in uh, uh, first trade live uh, on the bench. On the so bench. hopefully you guys can uh, end up getting your packs and filling up your your sticker books. I, I have mine's uh, mine is at home, so it's chilling. I got quite a few quite a few packs. Uh, you can get them for. What do you get 20. these shits? Uh, these are everywhere. CVS, Walgreens. You Los, just... Los amigos. Yeah. CVS, Imas. Oh yeah, Imas. CVS. Does the top right near the below the nation flag was that when they made their international debut? Correct. Yes. Okay, nice. So there's a there's a little date cool. on the top right, and that's when that player debuted for their international team. That's so a nice feature. That's fucking cool. uh, Brian Reese has 2003 on his shit. You're lying. Yeah. Oh he, my god. I think he debuted when he was like 15 or 16, something like that. Oh my goodness. If I'm inaccurate, forgive that's me. That's a nice feature though. That wasn't on the the previous ones. Right? No, that's no. That's a nice feature. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's pretty cool. Who is the oldest um player that's gonna be at the World Cup? Uh, fuck. Probably Pepe, no? No, 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 no. Um, Danny Alves is confirmed oh, the oldest oh, player. Oh, yeah. Oh really? Yes, That's at 30, very... 39 years and 
uh, two hundred something days. That's impressive for him. I have to yeah, say. He's, 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 and he's the previous goalie. one was I a, think was like was a, a <laughs> Middle Eastern goalie. There was a meme I saw on Twitter of fucking that Emerson Royale when he tried the no look pass and it went out. It went off oh. the touchline. So the the caption was <laughs> the caption. <laughs> It was Tite saw this and immediately went to Dani Alves. Dani Alves, though, this is this is the last trophy he needs in his cabinet, to be honest. The World Cup. Ooh, is that also available in the stars? Why not? I mean, I mean, he's never got. He's a notorious winner. Yeah, he has the most trophies in history, I believe. Yeah, thirty-six. More than Messi, I think. I love Barbara Zuber's number one. There's quite a bit of there's quite a bit of storylines in this World Cup between between. I, ultimate feel, I think I think it'll come back to South America. I have this feeling. Right. It has to. It has yeah, to. There's a lot of storylines. Yeah, I mean, Messi, Messi getting hit in game 1,000 if he goes all the way to the to the oh, final. And you have, uh, Portugal, of course, Portugal. of course, the Portugal-Argentina thing. Dani Alves. There's, there's a lot going on. Are you excited uh, yet, Marco? You got to get excited now. Not yet. Damn, all these stickers. I fucking... Damn. I think I already lost one of my stickers. Diego oh. spent Diego spent his hard earned money. Yeah, I spent a whole dollar and twenty five cents. Oh shit! <laughs> All this money that he's he's sending to Qatar. Jojo <laughs> <laughs> jo, jo, to, to Panini to Panini to Panini <laughs> to Panini to Panini. Official sponsor. Um. All right. So look, I think that's it for this for this, uh, it, for this intro episode. episode. Yes. Anything else that you guys want to put out there? You know, any other. Mm-hmm. Things to look out for, any other excitement that you want to share? I mean, by the way, you guys is I'm 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 pretty I'm excited for it. At least to be able to, to chat with you guys, chat with the bench, see see what people say. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be exciting. It should be fun. I hope it's fun. I'm excited for just the content that uh we're gonna hopefully put together. Yeah, yeah. the World oh, Cup. Yeah. So and and like for That's example, the fucking for. that I was freaking out that FIFA. 23 has all of like the legacy songs now mm. with the new World Cup update. They have songs from all the other FIFA. Wait, do we? Is it officially Lil Baby that has the no, FIFA World Cup? No, song? it's not no. him. It's Shakira again. Is it? Sh- I- no, no. <laughs> is, it, uh... is it I Show Speed? Is it I Show Speed? That'd be crazy. Speed, no. Shout out to I Show Speed. Yeah, is, there, is, there, is there a World Cup song officially? I think there, yeah, there is yeah. an official one. I think there's an official one, yes. I just can't remember who it was. That's a, that should be the, that should be the, for, for another episode, the which is the best uh, Brazil? Ooh, uh, not Brazil. The best World Cup song? Uh, I don't know, bro. Which is the best? Oh, like, it's it's, 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 it's got to be Shakira, it's bro. Waka, no bro. way. The next episode, you have to create a dance for the, to the World Cup song. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 you going to say, who was who's Brazil? Was It was Pitbull, right? No, I mean, there's there's a couple. It was Pitbull in Rio. The one that I remember the most. Is no, it's right. waving flag, flag from, yeah, from Canaan. That's not official. From Canaan. That's not an official one. No, no, the official no. one was Waka Waka. Waka. Official unofficial song. That's Coca Cola. Uh, okay, all right. There is the uh, Waka Waka was in the South. Il Vivo yeah. had a really good song for world, for one of the World Cups. <laughs> the official World Cup song for World Cup 2022 uh, Ricky, Ricky is, though, is Haya Haya, <laughs> called Together, Better Together. Yes, I think. Oh, was it the one that they played during the draw? During the draw, yes. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, that was a, okay. A list of a, a list of official songs and anthems. So, play it, play what did you guys it. say for Brazil? Yeah. It was Pitbull. We can't play it. For Brazil, we can't play it. for copyright issues. Yeah, it was copyright uh, reasons. We would we cannot play Pitbull it. Pitbull and J Lo. Yeah. Check it out. Um, let us know what your but, favorite World Cup song is. Let us know who your up, top four is. Let us know who your winner is. This so is the World Cup 2022, kicking off in a couple days. Come join the bench. Come share your thoughts. Come share your banter. With all that being said, you are the bench roamers. The bench of the voice where the bench is always warm. Peace, everybody. Oriental, la paz. La tumba. La tumba. Diego, the El Divo one. Do you know what you know? You have to know what I'm talking about. The El Divo song. Yeah, there's an El Divo song that came out for a World Cup. Yes, I do remember that. To me, it's one of the better, best ones. Really? Yeah. Yeah.